Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Hollywood 2.0. That's what they're calling it. Hollywood is moving out of California and moving into Nevada for tax reasons. <laughs> Everybody's fleeing California. They're, yeah. I mean, this is crazy. Like we've heard of all these other businesses like, uh, you know, Musk moving his businesses to Texas. Um, other businesses moving to uh, to Florida, but now we've got Hollywood, major Hollywood studios pulling out of California and moving to Nevada. And, uh, you know, it's they're getting tax breaks and they don't have to deal with the insanity that is current year California. And I can say this as somebody who spent a good chunk of his life in California. I can say that California is crazy now. So let's um, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woo so this comes from Variety, and I got to give a hat tip to uh, Vinny who sent this over. I, I missed this. I know we talked about it a little bit uh, that I think Paramount was originally looking at Nevada, and now Sony's looking at Nevada and Warner Brothers, and they're, they're fighting over studio space. Well, I think it's funny because one has more money than the other. Uh, that, that is true. Yeah, Sony is flush with cash. In fact, we did a video the other day. The CEO of Sony Pictures said that things are going to get brutal. And Warner Brothers, their shares are like seven bucks a share or something like that. Like their stock is in the gutter and they're, they've got $40 billion in debt. But we'll talk about this and then we'll talk about the whys. This is uh, coming from Variety. Sony and Warner Brothers are gearing up for a political fight for a Las Vegas studio. They're both looking to expand their footprint outside of L.A. No, they're talking about moving out of L.A., and we'll talk about that. Uh, there are insane tax credits, and um, that's only part of it. And I think another part of it is this is how you kind of low-key get rid of people that you don't want to work with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, all the really loud activists won't relocate to Vegas. Oh, no, guys. Well, I guess we'll just have to give you a severance and send you on your way. I don't know. I know like it's like three and a half hours drive or they said 75 minutes by plane. Yeah. Uh, it's not that far. It really isn't that far. It is a bumpy ride, though. If anybody has ever flown from from L.A. to Vegas and I did once or twice, it's it's a, it's a, it has the worst turbulence I have ever experienced my whole life. I was like, oh, my God, this is like the Twilight Zone episode with William Shatner. And I'm like, oh, my God. Join the reef. Go to clownfishminus.com. That's clownfishminus.com. You will get exclusive access to podcasts and videos and comic strips and more as well as merch discounts. Check it out. If you were a member, you could get this t-shirt, this dismal t-shirt on our website. You'd get a 10% discount on that. You can also join in the community on clownfishminus.com. Thank you so much for the support on with the video. Uh, so anyway, Sony and Warner Brothers are preparing for a heavyweight fight in Vegas. Both studios are seeking state funding to build rival production so facilities. So they're going to build their own facilities. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're fighting over studio space and probably there's only so much money to go around, right? But Well, you know, if they really want the, the, the studios to come there, that you think that they would, you know, give them both the money towards it, you know? Yep. As with nearly all location decisions, the key factor is whether the state is willing to offer a tax incentive. And we'll, we'll talk about that because this is apparently this is the whole thing. Like I missed, I knew that they were talking about moving to Vegas uh, because of, I think it was Paramount was talking about at some point. They were talking, they were going to sell the lot and all that. But now we're like, everybody's moving to Vegas. Uh, Nevada leaders want to diversify the Vegas economy, which relies on tourism and gambling. But gaming. They have, yeah, gambling, yeah. And they keep calling gambling gaming. That pisses me off. It's not, it's, it is, but it isn't. They have balked at the price tag to fund okay, both projects. Okay, that's why. They don't want to do both. But, you know, if you get two studios. Yeah, Warner Brothers is a bigger studio and is proposing a bigger project with a higher volume of film and TV production. Uh, the, the Senator Roberta Lang, who is sponsoring it in the legislature, argued in a statement that Warner Brothers' ability to keep the studios full starting from day one is a key difference maker. Yeah, Sony, I mean, they have uh, Columbia and they've got some other you know, studios I think that they own, but they don't produce as much content. But I'm like, Warner Brothers is broke ass right now. Okay, so Sony wants to build a smaller studio, but it's going to be part of a larger commercial development. So you have Warner Brothers wanting to do just the studio. And then you have Sony wanting to do a, stu a studio, but a commercial area that would have retail and hotels near the studio. That's weird. Like Sony land. Oh my God, they could build Sony land. 
they could they could do like that actually be kind of cool because everybody wants to build these like micro theme parks now and universal was going to build a halloween horror nights theme park in vegas and they could build like sony land uh, so nevada currently offers 10 million a year in film incentives not much compared to other states just in southwest new mexico gives them 120 million a year plus an unlimited credit for film partners netflix and nbc universal unlimited credit Arizona approved 125 million a year incentive in 2022. So it's yeah, the whole Southwest. So everybody's gonna move out of California. Well, they weren't like yeah, they were offering it, but they weren't taking it. But now they're they want to take it. Now Every, I mean, it's probably gone. closer to the, go to Arizona than it would be to some of the other ones. But still, it's like everybody's trying to jump on it now. Uh, in 2023, they uh, proposed increasing the Nevada credit to 190 million a year over 20 years. And we're gonna talk about Mark Wal Wahlberg. He's from he's from uh, Vegas. Um, he was a uh, prominent supporter of it, along with Jeremy Renner, who pushed to include funding for film projects in northern Nevada, where he lives, yeah. which we knew about because that's where he had his unfortunate accident. But thankfully, he's OK. Um, they said the local construction trades and the Vegas branches of IATSE and the Teamsters also push for the incentive. So, yeah, they're not getting away from the unions. We actually talked about that yesterday. I was like, are they trying to get away from and the I unions? And I said, no, because the no. unions are going to be, uh, you know, not just to the state. It's going to be by the, the, the territory, the area going to be like you know across the country yeah so at the time the two studios working together now the bill has stalled in the state uh now they're focused on 380 million for the baseball stadium and um yeah they're reaching the limit of the public's appetite for subsidies so yeah i mean look you can only give so much taxpayer <laughs> money away you can only give so much tax because people are like wait i didn't i didn't i don't even like baseball I don't like Hollywood movies. Why am I why am I paying oh, for these Hollywood movies? Or or here's an idea. Crazy idea. Maybe the studios could just pay for their own damn shit instead of asking taxpayers to cover it. Maybe these sports teams that are owned by the be ultra wealthy should pay for their own damn stadiums instead of asking taxpayers to fund it. Yeah. So uh yeah. And then, and then how much they charge for you to go? Yeah, so wait, right. let me get this straight. Taxpayers fund it, and then we have to pay out the nose to go to. Yeah, it's like I, I, my feeling on this is if you, if you're paying for this shit, you should get it for free. But the lawmakers right? who get the stuff that they get, you know, that you know, high, you know, so, you know, give them the little hand slap with the money in their palms, get like box seats for free and stuff like that, G probably. So so maybe in podcasts at a later date, not on YouTube, I will talk about my spicy takes on uh, taxes and the government and the parasites that leech off of hardworking people. You know, Ron Swanson. <laughs> The kids said I'm Ron Swanson, except He's they don't. not quite as bad. He I, doesn't know how to build stuff. But oh, you know. thanks. No, um, no. I, I actually said that. I actually said that. I said I am. For those of you who don't know, Ron Swanson is. Uh, is it Nick Offerman? From Park, Parks, Parks, and Park, Rec. Parks and Rec. Yeah, he's the uh, the libertarian boss on there, and uh, yeah, I actually he when he speaks, it's supposed to be a joke, but I'm like. Damn, I felt that. <laughs> I did. Other than the woodworking <laughs> skills, he's he's a hell of a wo uh, woodworker. In real life, too. In real life, yeah. They had a competition or something with him, and uh, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it was a anyway. competition show. Anyway, um, yeah. Other than the mustache and the woodworking skills, uh, yeah, I, I pretty much agree and his with wife's, your wife's name's not Tammy. No. Uh, my first but wife's my name wasn't Tammy. With it. So that's there's that. My anyway. first wife wasn't Tammy either. My mom's not Tammy. <laughs> that's wait, a, first wife? Yeah. Uh oh. Anyway, it happened in Vegas. We don't talk about it. Um, yeah. So every two years they get together, and uh, they said, yeah, they're gonna have to pare this down, and that's why they're fighting because they're they're fighting over the the money that they're gonna give the them. The money that they may or may not even offer because they might just put it all into the the the, the stadium. But the, but. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, seven hundred and fifty million dollars for a, a stadium's a good a good use of taxpayer money, but you know. Um, so here's here's the thing. The the point of this being that they all want to get out of California. They all want to build production facilities elsewhere. And we actually said that this probably would happen during the pandemic. We said this would probably happen because you can't have the entire entertainment and tech industry centralized in a state that will shut down at the drop of a hat and overtax you and all this other nonsense and let people shit outside your your office building and steal your stuff and not do anything. Well, I think it has more to do with the people that you have working there that you could probably, you know, 
get rid of that that okay that's a big factor and this this kind of happened um this has happened before in entertainment this happened with with uh, i think dc comics uh dc comics now i i could i could be wrong i don't have like any inside baseball on it but it seemed to me that they moved out of new york into california specifically to clean house to be like oh god oh you don't want to move to california You've been here your whole life. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Here's, you know, a check and get the hell out of here and we're, we're moving. And it's a very good, I mean, I've seen companies do this before. They're like, yeah, we are so infested and, uh, yeah, we need a good excuse to get rid of, especially in California with the, like the Warren Act and all the laws they have against, you know, like mass firings. And, uh, Disney was doing this. They were trying to move to Florida. They were going to move, uh, Imagineering to, to Lake Nona. And I think part of the reason they're doing that is to, just a hunch is to get rid of large groups of people. Um, it could also be whatever the whole, whatever, you know, happens in Vegas stays in Vegas mentality too, <laughs> you know, yeah, we can get away with more. Well, that, that is also true. There's a whole, there's a whole nother thing there. But they, but, that was their own advertising campaign. So they kind of put that idea in people's heads themselves. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's not really good campaign like come to vegas you can do where the hell you want and not get caught um so yeah i mean it's just like it just goes on boy oh bircher development i thought it said bitcher bitcher development anyway uh films and tv shows set in vegas often uh film exteriors or film or shot there and then they shoot the rest on sound they stages in every LA. area you know yes. like for example uh the office is supposed to be in scranton pa they just filmed some of the stuff outside scranton and then did the rest like someplace else in you la know? and you can kind of tell like it's not quite right it was like but as somebody who's been to scranton many times it's like this is bizarro scranton this isn't it's it's too clean it's too clean and they're I haven't not, been to Scranton ever, so I can't say. It's too clean. The office, it's it's too clean. But you can usually tell. That was like a Rumble in the Bronx with Jackie Chan. Everybody joked because it, it was filmed in Canada. And they had they had uh, trees, lots of trees on a mountain in New York. Yeah. It <laughs> you know, was like, where the hell was this actually filmed? But yeah, so basically. The oh my role, gosh, it just goes on and on. It just goes on and on. Um, Sony said they're shovel ready. The yeah, they have another Hollywood. partner. They have a, a, a building partner that they want to put this, these sound stages in. They wanted to put the hotels and stuff like that in there. So, so this is, um, yeah, this is a Nevada policy has this. And again, I not living in Nevada, I'm not really paying attention to it. So Mark Wahlberg's kind of spearhead. At least with Sony, he's spearheading this. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mark Wal Wahlberg wants to move Hollywood, which made him a household name to Southern Nevada. Oh my God! How dare you? Uh, yeah. Um, they said uh, Wahlberg, who lives in Vegas, wants Nevada to move in, wants uh, Hollywood to move into his backyard, guys, to expand tax credits for the Summerlin project. Um, they're saying it's not good. This is their their takeaway from it. It's not good. Now there is another site out there that basically talks about the the uh, tax incentives, and I think what's going to happen eventually, whether it's Nevada or Arizona or Florida or whatever. We're seeing more legacy Hollywood studios being open to relocating. I mean, Disney opened up shop in Canada and made Moana 2 under the radar. And like nobody knew they were even up there. Even some people at Disney did not know they were there. And I think the reason they're doing this is they're trying to avoid people, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> problematic people in the politics. But I think they're also trying to make sure they're not centralized because Hollywood and tech basically ground to a halt during the shutdown, during the lockdowns. And they're like, well, damn, we can't have everything in California because if this happens again or something like this happens again, what are we gonna do? And then there's just the obvious, you know, the taxes, which are ridiculous. But I think we're gonna see more of this. So there you go, guys. Yeah, uh, but again, you know, if they won't give you subsidies, then just pay for it yourself. Pay for it yourself, you're probably I mean, gonna save more I'm tired, money anyway. I'm you know? tired of tax money being paid. You have to pay it. They keep gouging people. And instead of doing things like, hey, we should give more money to schools or we should give more money to, you know, different initiatives that help the people. No, no, we got to give subsidies to the multi-billion dollar fucking, you know, Hollywood studios. Or let's build another stadium instead of making the people who have the millions of dollars to buy the teams pay for the damn thing. You know what? Let's, you, want this, you want them in Nevada and you want them in Vegas area? Fine. Go ahead. You pay for it. There you go. Hey, speaking of which, Clownfish Nevada, when? When are we going to open our no, Vegas? No, we're not. Our Vegas studio. No. 
the reef. What happens in the reef stays in the reef. <laughs> that just happens every time. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.